What's up, Guru Gang? Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm Yoda Guru. Come on in. Sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have yourself a medical beverage, your choice, your prerogative. My sanctum is your sanctum, and enjoy my reaction to episode number seven of the HBO Max series, DC's Doom Patrol. And this episode is titled Therapy Patrol. And I'm assuming. Um, this comes, this is the aftermath of what happened at the, the school, what was thought to be a school, uh, turned out to be like a, uh, hospital slash retirement home for three, um, metahumans that were associated with at, with at one time at, uh, um, Niles Calder. And, um, and, uh, one of those individuals had a... Um, at a love affair with Rita, and um, so yeah, it, it turned out that um, uh, that uh, Mento was uh, harboring some uh, unresolved feelings, um, and and caused her to see things along with Jane and um, and um, Larry. So this th this therapy episode could possibly involve. Um, uh, Victor and Cliff as well when it comes to their issues. So let's not waste any time and get into the reaction part itself before we do. If you enjoyed any of my content, whether it be from my inner, inner Sanctum channel or YG Anime channel for all things anime, the link is right up there. Check that out. Help support that channel um, as you're supporting this channel, which I greatly appreciate. Um, tip of the hat to you, um, to all those who have uh, um, supported uh, the Inner Sanctum channel. And, um, like I said, if you enjoyed either content for your channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on, uh, on either channel. And when it comes to the full-length reaction of this episode, it will be posted to my Patreon, and that link, along with my social media links, will be posted underneath this video in the description section. And with that said, um, let's get into episode number seven of DC's Doom Patrol with the episode titled Therapy Patrol. All right, here we go. The Halls of Doom Manor. <laughs> Sound of a ticking clock. Look, we all want to find the chief. To find the chief, we got to go through Mr. Nobody. And I think we can all agree if we don't get our shit together mm. right here, right now, Mr. Nobody. He's gonna fuck us. I don't know what kind of freaky shit your souls are into, and I'm not one to judge, but I want to keep my soul unfucked. <laughs> None of you have any issues. Oh, so Cliff is leading the therapy session. Get off your chest. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is fucking awkward. Oh, okay. It's right around here. Okay. Right off with Rita. Damn it, Frankie, I said no visitors until we're done shooting this endless coverage. Yes, I mean, Singer is just, um, this is the cook. County pageant winner. <laughs> Meeting you was the prize. Mm. Nice to meet you. Please call me Ethel. We're so grateful. We're such big fans. Oh, uh, yes, especially her. You're her idol. A young Rita. Oh. What's your name, little one? My name is. Uh -uh. Your stage name. Ah. Mm. I'm Rita Farr. So, what's her real name? <laughs> Morning, Rita. Team meeting in 15. I'll be there. Pull us up together, literally. <laughs> Quite literally. The person who is breathing is me. Shit. <laughs> the person who is breathing is Rita Farr. <sighs> hmm. Ooh. Close enough. Yeah. Good morning, Hammerhead. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with your neck? <laughs> Always good to have Hammerhead keep it straight. Keep it real. Uh-oh. That's not good. Losing her form and going down a grate. <laughs> Shit. Can anyone hear me? That's not good for Rita. <laughs> How many humiliations must I be made Going to through the pipes. Squirming through ducks like some kind of rat. The person who is breathing is me. 
Stop go again. North Dakota. Carol, he was caught playing doctor with Benjamin Quincy behind the swing sets. Hmm. If that woman accuses my son of being a queer. Oh, I'm please, hmm. you know it's true. The signs are everywhere. I stand to get school at church. Lord Gerald, we could lose everything. Yo, Larry, team meeting in 15. Not say putting on those wraps. So, so not to, to infect everybody else. The, that radiation. It's his routine. Never ending routine. What do you say we take the day off, buddy? Hmm. Oh, okay. That a yes or a no? <laughs> I still have no idea what you're trying to tell me. Oh, oh, oh. oh this is new. <laughs> I remember this day. It's before the accident. All right, fella. This might not look like torture, but reliving one of my biggest regrets is hell all the same. What are we doing here? This pickup was blue, not green. Hank Williams was on the radio, not whatever this is. The little details. Got a train in sight. He knows. What's this supposed to be, huh? Ooh. Oh. Is this the edge of my memory? I guess you're not all seeing, are you? Ooh. What are you trying to tell me? What is that entity trying to tell? Dude. It's an endless loop. What's he avoiding? Nice try. In what alt history does John Bowers advocate for keeping our relationship a secret? And memory shouldn't change just because I want a happier ending. History doesn't change. I'm hmm. still the gaslighting, insecure hypocrite who ruined other people's lives instead of owning my own shit. If we're stuck with each other, the least you can do is understand me. We may share memories, but you have no idea how hard it was living this way. Mm. The lies, the fear. Actually opening up. The threat of losing everything if anyone so much as questioned my sexuality. You want to know what's missing from this fantasy? Fucking context! Mm. The anger. You have no idea how long I waited to hear those words. I wanted you to admit it to yourself. Hmm. You think that's gonna hurt me? Hmm. What is going on with Cliff? <laughs> Alright, Victor, this time. Okay, no broken bones. It's just dislocated. I still remember the first time I popped my shoulder. My old man had me count to ten and... Ooh. Oh, oh, uh, all done. Victor, my man, you took that like a champ. He's gonna be fine. I'm scared. Hmm. Of what, honey? That he told me not to climb the trees. Hmm. So you understand why he was worried now? And we don't have to tell your father everything. <laughs> <laughs> that does that. <laughs> Got a close relationship with his mother instead of his uh, dad. Match. Great voicemail. Talk to me. You have one new match on Cash. It's a modern swipe-based dating. I don't know what Tinder. 
Why am I getting a notification? Because a 24-year-old human female named Janice swiped right oh, on nice. your profile. <laughs> Wait, hold up. I didn't make one as a joke when I was like 18. You have 266 to 67 unread messages. Oh, Why haven't you been notifying oh. me? All social media notifications had been filtered by the master user, <laughs> Silas Stone. Stone. Mm. They were distractions. You had no right. What gave you the right to cut me off my own life? Three weeks after the accident, you still couldn't walk. You needed more focus. His father's still a dick. Noise. Well, what about the next five years? From now on, I'll decide what I can handle. Dick. <laughs> cut him off. The pub cash. What's up, Janice? <laughs> That's my lucky beagle. Oh my god. You wrote that? This is Cyborg, right? Please. Call me Vic. Okay, mm. cyborg. LOL, LOL, LOL. Swipe left. <laughs> so you play football, huh? Yeah. Profile's a little old, though. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Swipe away anybody whose search word includes the word cyborg. Or any other metahuman. Okay. How about Mel? Oh. Mel looks nice. Hey, girl. I'm a med student. Hey, man, is that a dorky smile? Because it's cute. <laughs> so, uh, what do you do when you're not saving lives? <sighs> Giving myself carpal tunnel from swiping left so much. <laughs> well, I'm glad I made... Oh. What is this? You wanted to know Mel better. Deep dive into her life. Oh. I didn't ask for this. Not verbally. But your desire was clear. Hmm. Since when did you start reading my subconscious? Since you removed the code throttling my bandwidth. <laughs> oh, that's not the reaction she wa he wanted. That look on her face. Spoke volumes to him. Mm. There is one incoming threat. What the hell? Ooh. What the hell indeed? You think that's gonna hurt me? Ooh. Alright. Jane this time. Bastard. Right on top of uh, Niles' uh, portrait. Oh, ho! Hammerhead punching a hole through it. Good morning, Hammerhead. Ugh. Oh, now, what the fuck is wrong with your neck? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? You know, you tepid twat. No. No, we're not doing this. Have a conversation Just with herself. The meeting, <laughs> find the chief, and he'll explain everything. No world's so lonely. Oh, watching the shapes again. Made lonelier by how fiercely you push people away. Oh, it was 63 flatmates. You don't even know half their names. You can make those connections, Jane. Hmm. Find people who will see you and accept you. The joy of seeing you flourish someday. And what if I can't? Then I'll be a father to you just the same. Hmm. She resents that. She's angry about that. You trusted him. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Her personas are lashing out. She's losing control. You think that's going to hurt me? <laughs> Godzilla! Oh, 
is Cliff going? Oh! Whoa, what in the shit are you? Tell me you don't recognize my voice. What the hell are you doing calling yourself Clara's dad? How did brainwash her? Well, shit, you were dead. So you took my place? I'm all alone like... He resents that. Backstabbing shit. Hey, now. It ain't like I wanted some brat dumped in my lap. Brat? That little snot nose killed my bachelor game, man. You son of a bitch, you stole my life. You think that's gonna hurt me? Oh. Careful, he's going nuts. Oh, okay. Something's going on internally with um with Cliff. Oh, oh, oh. Angle slam! <laughs> that knocks some sense into him. Why is it me? Not her mom who came back! You should have been king! I got a cinnamon king! What in the hell is going on? Cliff's having a psychotic break. <laughs> Look, maybe we should just leave him alone. No! Talking! That's what we need! Group Rose therapy! Is as up as I am, right? We need to talk! As a group! Like... Therapy? <laughs> Cliff is deranged, but he's right. <laughs> this yeah. is exactly what doomed those poor bastards in the Doom Patrol. Mr. Nobody turned them against each other, using their secrets, their lies. If we have any chance of making it through this, we need to start talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Therapy! I would rather eat hot coals than talk about my problems. Therapy! Ever since Niles was abducted and we went into that donkey place, <laughs> Mr. Nobody has been dangling something terrible over me. All I know is that Rita Farr was not a good person. In fact, she was never a person at all. Hmm. Rita was an illusion. I have to confront the truth. They're all trying to confront the truth together. If there is no Rita Farr, then there's nothing else there. I don't even know who I am. All right, this is a waste of time. But you got somewhere better to be? Yes, actually, I do. What? In your room? Do you have a lover's quarrel with your flowers? Gotta go have makeup sex? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay! Whoa, whoa. Settle down, buddy. What? Come on! No judgment here! I just thought Larry was about to come out. And that would have been <laughs> so healing for him. They knew. It gets lonely. Hmm. Not touching anyone for 60 years. The last person I ever touched was John Bowers. I just want you to know that you're loved and accepted. I'm not done. <laughs> oh. um, okay, all right. Just sit down, Cliff. This because it's, if Mr. Nobody's goal is to torture me, well, I've been doing his work for him, whipping mm. myself in a prison of my own making. I'm not just hurting myself. I'm hurting this thing inside me, and it's hurting me back endlessly until there's so much self-loathing I can barely breathe. Larry facing his own truth. I killed my mom. Ooh. Whoa. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Here we go. My dad and I don't talk about this. I was having an argument with my mom about school. It seemed like everything at the time, but I'm so small now. But to save me, my dad, uh, he turned me into this. Mm. Thing is, that story, my guilt, it used to be the well of my strength. It took me so long to accept what happened and who I became. Something's changed. Mr. Nobody, he put this bug in my ear. Will you stop it? Sorry. If my brain and my operating system are seamless, then how do I know if my memories are real? Hey, what is this? It's what Mr. Nobody showed me in the donkey. Why did you keep this head? Holy shit. Come. You made this up. The hangman's daughter doesn't lie. Ooh. Well, this has been productive. The hangman's daughter. <laughs> You of all people need someone to talk to. I've seen your tapes. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? You know. You don't want to know what I'm thinking. Come on, just say it. It's a safe space. You'll never be a father because you aren't oh. even a man. 
I'm the only one here who can stand you, and I only like 164th of you. <laughs> Ooh, that's brutal. Thank you for your honesty. Jane, Jane, come back. Jesus, Cliff. Ever heard of de-escalation? Jane, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't even think I was thinking that. What the? No. How? Cliff's gone off the deep end. Maybe he's having a stroke. <laughs> Can a robot have a stroke? Could you have some sympathy? Nice going there, Bebo. Oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Off that face off your punch. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, Suplex City. <laughs> Just shut oh okay that's what the hell a rat <laughs> I explains it Admiral whiskers is that my bus what are we doing six episodes ago okay Whiskers wanted revenge. So oh, luckily, you don't have to go it alone. You have me. Up here, the narrator. Let it well up inside of you. Nurture it. Feel it harden into that icy cold blade called vengeance. You need to find the thoughtless Cretan responsible for your mother's annihilation. And then you need to fuck his mind. <laughs> fuck his heart. And fuck his soul. You can do that, little fella. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that hole. One to side cliff. Morning, Rita. Team meeting at 15. Great episode number seven of DC's Doom Patrol, and um. The episode titled Therapy Patrol, and it was, and the ending I did not expect. Um, and it revolved around the issues that um, each of the uh, each of the characters were um, harboring. Uh, that uh, they uh, that that and thanks to Cliff um, and his issues revolving around his daughter and not being able to see her, and um, and uh, and and. Uh, uh, coming to terms, not really coming to terms with the fact that Bump, um, uh, someone from his past, is now um, a father figure or a father to his daughter, and um, and he uh, came and he um, uh, was the uh, individual who just basically cliffed at his, um, brought the uh, his fellow um, his fellow teammates to the living room in order to have a group session, and. Um, and all throughout the episode, we see those issues um, um, from the past. Uh, Rita with his, with, with her parents, uh, the stage parents, and how she became uh, the infamous Rita Farr, and then um, how it has caused her um, pro problems in trying to um, um, be be uh, to uh, not be be uh, someone else, but um uh let go of the past and uh, uh forge her own identity and try to figure herself out and then there's um Vic who came to terms or, or spoke out loud um something that uh has been a torturous uh painful existence for him uh that was responsible for his mother's death um and i think that there's a, a part of him that knows that um, his father resents him for that, and then um, and then there's uh, Larry and his issues with um, with um, being gay and um, coming to terms with that and uh, and h hiding and uh, and sharing finally his unresolved feelings with the group, and then there's a uh, and then there's uh, Jane. Um, uh, with all of her issues stemming from um, 
I think feeling abandoned from a father figure of, at, at Niles, uh, um, that she saw in Niles, uh, because of the lack of, uh, uh, of, uh, of a parent when it comes to um, when he, she was a young child. And that, then that uh, dude that just uh, was standing over her crib, um, and and that and that's because that's the main issue right there. That um, that hopefully we'll get deep into because um, a deep dive into because there's so much going on with Jane because of all her personalities that it it it, it stems from possibly her father or her parents, but I'm thinking it's her father. So. Uh, yeah, there's a really traumatic experience for her because there's so many personas within Jane that um, it's hard to keep control of um, whenever they come out uh, out of the woodwork in a sense. And um, and then there's uh, the rat I did not expect, and it, and uh, it was like uh, back in episode one um, where um, we find out that the rat. Um, was seeking revenge for the killing of um, his uh, mother, and then here comes Mr. Nobody, just um, um, manipulating the, the situation, and um, and then um, encouraging the rat to seek out revenge, and um, and and seek revenge he did, um, or she did, by um, getting into Cliff in order to. Um, try to destroy everybody else. So, um, but it didn't work, uh, and uh, the, the rat just emerged out of uh, Cliff after um, after take after Cliff just shut down, and um, and Mister Nobody failed in that mission. Um, so, it so it was an interesting episode to say the least. So, I hope you enjoyed my reaction on. Um, I'm looking forward to um, uh, reacting to episode number eight. Um, uh, and if you, like I said, if you enjoyed this reaction of this episode, Therapy Patrol, the full-length reaction we posted in my Patreon. And um, like I said, if you enjoyed, I uh, mentioned earlier, if you enjoyed either content when it comes to either my Inner Sanctum channel or YVG Anime channel for uh, all things anime, link is right there. Check that out. Help support that channel as you're supporting this channel, which I greatly appreciate. Tip of the hat to you. And like I said, if you enjoyed either content for the channel, make sure that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. And like I said, my the full length reaction of this episode in my Patreon, that link along with my social media links posted underneath this video in the description section. And with that said, tip my hat to you. May the force be with you. And Till next time for episode 8 of DC's Doom Patrol on HBO Max. Alright, later.